welcome to yet another episode of Commenting on Comments. Holy shit, I'm wearing the same clothes. That's because I'm filming this one 10 seconds after I just finished the last one. So, let's get on with some comments, people. Our first comment is from Mints. And they said, indeed, that's exactly how Pure Leader works. I had the exact same experience numerous times. I always try to avoid them like the plague if possible. And what they're referring to is back when I got the XPS 9000, the, my main desktop, uh, how Pure Leader didn't deliver it. No, they're not referring to that. They're referring to the, my, my Dell laptop when the guy came to the door and just dropped off a slip and like Oreo would have set off right away. Like the guy put it in the mailbox and Oreo didn't give a shit. If he would have knocked on the door, nine pound Pomeranian of fierceness would have woken up and freaking went at him. No, no, couldn't be bothered to deliver it. Why? Because he had to lift it out of his truck and carry it to the door. Son of a bitch. Pedo So Sniper, sure, Leet. Uh, so Pedo So Sniper Leet says, make more cooking videos, lol. I want to, but I don't know what to make because I've already made a cooking video for everything I normally cook. Uh, Guadalupe Alvarado. Alvarado. It's like silver, Silverado. Colorado. Alvarado. Uh, you're going to have to put the seat down and then put the jump wires in an angle under the seat. I hate doing this because I always think it's going to blow when I set on the seat. Oh, yeah, you're talking about that freaking tractor that wouldn't start because I didn't have the seat down. I think I might just disconnect that button altogether because if the seat's down, the tractor's still going to run. So if I fall off, it's not going like it's going to kill it. It doesn't take much pressure to put the button, push the button down. So I'm thinking about just disconnecting that switch altogether and saying fuck it. Like, <laughs> why have it? Y2KXJ says, "Oh, propylene glycol isn't that the main ingredient in antifreeze?" Ew! Search propylene glycol MSDS. Does sound good. Also, uh, look up food grade propylene glycol. There's a lot of food items that we use today that has propylene glycol in it. It's been deemed one of the safest chemicals on the planet. So, you know, they pump it through the air systems at hospitals to help dry out bacteria. You know, that's what it does, dries out bacteria. It's in your inhalers if you use asthma puffers. Propylene glycol is the dispersal. So, yeah, it's also used in antifreeze because it's a great binding agent and it won't freeze. It's a good product, you know, so not a big deal. Rex 4x4 says, I knew you couldn't resist a quick romp in the back. Dude, I would have went longer, but that friggin' open diff or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> the tire on the right would start slipping and then I'd have to do the rocky rocky and get some momentum, and all of a sudden the tire on the left would break and be like, son of a bitch, it just wouldn't hook, eh? So, yeah, it was a little bit of a pain in the arse, but uh, maybe if the tires had a bit more grip, they probably wouldn't have broke free the way they did, maybe. Ghetto Hillbilly One says, a friggin' kitties in heat are annoying as hell, and it just gets worse, no doubt. Camper sprays. She's getting fixed. Chase Kozak says, Hey Adam, I just got GTA 5 for the PS3. It keeps freezing after two minutes of gameplay. And if I try to go online, it freezes. My PS3 is a first gen. What do you think? Uh, first gen, do you think? That's the problem. Thanks. Now, Adrian had a first gen PS3 when we first started playing online, and that blew up. And then he ended up getting a PlayStation 3 like mine, the little slim guy. Maybe the first gen PS3s aren't built like the third gens, or whatever the generation that I have, 15th gen probably. Maybe they're not built like that, and the new ones have a better processor or something. I, I don't know. Like, I, I never really looked at the specs. With consoles, it's like, oh, it's a PS3, they're all the same. It could be the PlayStation 3 itself. Maybe it's overheating, and I, I don't know. Like, you'd have to try cleaning it out with some compressed air. Give that a go. 39 Gadget says, if you just block the floor vents in the bedroom, then your furnace won't pump hot air into that room. The hot air will be forced back out of the room's vents. You can get magnetic covers to stick over the vent for blocking. I'll have to see if I can find those magnetic covers because I've never seen those anywhere. These vents have like a little dial on it that you can like close them, but it doesn't really close them. It just like it really angles them so air still slips out. I like to keep all the air downstairs because this room right now, especially with these friggin' spotlights on it's ridiculously warm in here right now canadian guy 79 says hey adam i have a 2008 saturn aura with 3.5 and i like the car she's a bit of a hog on the gasoline but it's the best car i've had your car also has a 3.5 all joking aside is it a good car do you like it bud we drive the exact same car the chevy malibu the pontiac g6 and the saturn aura all same they're all based on the same platform the exact same car Exact same trims, in interchangeable parts, except for like obviously body accessories like lights and body panels and stuff. But as far as the chassis and the driveline, or sorry, the, the driveline goes and the engine and everything, you, you me same. You me same. 
So, yeah, it's I don't mind the G6, except for the fuel economy problem. That's pretty bad in town. Like, it's definitely not a daily driver for in town. If you do a lot of driving in the city, don't get yourself a 3.5 liter G6. You'll go broke in a month. Like, it'll just eat your wallet out. If it was, like, when we we rented the car back in Niagara days, uh, that was in 2008 when I rented one, and I got a 2.4 liter, a little four-banger. It was nice. It was amazing on fuel. That car was awesome drove all the way to niagara falls from north bay which is about a five to six hour drive at least got there with just under a half a tank of gas i'm like this car is running on fumes like 2.4 liter ecotech probably 150 horse maybe and it was actually felt pretty good had a six-speed transmission into it which was weird that had the six mine has a four and they're both 2005 so i don't get that but uh no all in all uh, i really liked the car that's why i ended up buying one but with all these recalls and shit i've lost faith in the car easy fun shine again says Adam, you seem quite handy when it comes to building stuff. No, that just recently started. Uh, you should go on YouTube and do a DI- DIY cat tree for scampers. It will save what's left of your furniture, plus kitties love to sleep on high things. I know, that's a good idea. Plus, they find that brown rope irresistible to claw on. We don't have thingamajig, but hearing you use it in the form of a noun was cracking me up. Oh, the thingamajig. You know, that's what they call it on the radio. Ridiculous. But, uh, no, I've been thinking about doing... I've been thinking about doing a cat tree, like a build like that. Um, just need to get some lumber. I got some plywood out in the garage. I just need something to use for a beam. And then to put like jump platforms so she can get to the top platform. And then go to the carpet stores and buy some scrap ends. And put scrap ends on it, all around it. Cover the whole thing in carpet so she can just scale the side if she wants to be a ninja. And uh, put it in the corner downstairs and she can go see me times. Maybe put a little thing on the top or like a, like a house or something she can go into. And that way there she can, uh, you know... Have herself a little place to hide out from the dog when the dog's getting on her nerves. Because Oreo does get on her nerves at times. G Man Carini One says, New camera? It seems so much smoother. 60 frames per second? No, bro. Still using the same camera. Still using the same Panasonic. I just put it in 60 FPS mode because somebody told me YouTube can do that. And I was like, well, let's go 60 FPS vlogs. And for some reason, it made the resolution sharper too, so. I don't understand that. JT says, man, your house is dicked. Hack job. Bro, you don't know the half of this house and how much of a hack job it is. If I had the money, I would just demolish this place and put up a proper house. This place was built by people who've never built a house. And this is why, like, I asked Dad, I'm like, hey, how much do you think it would cost to redo the bathroom? Like, new toilet, new sink, new tub, new floors, got the drywall. Put new drywall, the water resistant kind of He's like, uh, probably around five to six grand. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Okay, so I'll save 12 grand. And he goes, why saving 12? And I'm like, because you've, you've worked on my house, Dad. And he's like, right, yeah, I better save 15. And I said, exactly, because while we're at it, we're probably going to end up doing the living room too, because we're going to find problems once we start removing shit. Rob Vlog says, hey, congrats on hitting 7,500 subs. Soon you'll be hitting 8K. I don't really check. See, I never check my stats. That's the thing. I didn't even know I hit 7,500 subs until I saw this comment. And then I, I when I captured this comment, I was like, I hit 7,500 subs? I went and checked, and I went, oh, last time I checked that, I was at, I was at like 6850 or something like that. Like, I don't check stats. I just make the videos, throw them up, and then when I'm doing nothing, just sitting down trying to think of something to vlog about, I'll go on, grab some comments, store them. When I get enough, I make a folder, and then when I get enough folders of, like, episodes of Comment Down Comments, I bang them out and fire them up. You know, that's what I do. And... When I saw that, I was like, I'm not 7,500 subs. Like, when did that happen? Awesome! Rich Jeru says, whatever cam you used for this vid, keep using it. Great clarity. And you know what's funny is that comment there is off of the video, is off the video when the tractor was stuck in the backyard. And those cameras were my son of a bitchers. Love my son of a bitchers. Rich loves the son of a bitches. Button Tooth says, I tried vinegar on my windshield. It made mustard gas. I'm dead now. Fuck your talented writing comments from the dead. Bam! All right, people. Well, that's all we got for Comedy and Comments this week. So if you want to be on Comedy and Comments, all you got to do is leave a comment in the form of a question. Hopefully I catch it and copy it. And then I'll talk about it in an upcoming video of Comedy and Comments. So until next time, guys, peace the frigo.